Hey everybody, how are we? This is a little bit of an early impromptu live today, but I have a really, really important tip that I want to give you guys to help you get faster lasting results with your fitness goals. Um, so I thought I'll come on because I've had a bit of a reschedule of my afternoon appointments. So I'm jumping on right now to dish this info to you guys. You can watch it now, you can watch it later. I'm just inviting some people along to watch now. Hello everybody. Give me a wave as you're tuning in guys. I'm only gonna be on here for about 15 minutes. So I am going to talk. I'm going to get my point across. I'm going to help you as much as I can. And then I have to go. <laughs> so let's let's dive straight into it. I'm just, oh, there's so many people online. Hello, hello. Hi, how are we? Hey, Rachel. Hey, Beck. Hey, everybody. All right, fam. This one simple adjustment that I'm about to give you is going to help you get faster and more lasting results. It's definitely going to get you more lasting results with your fitness goals. Um, it's been the one thing that has got me to keep my results and fit fam. It's one of the main things that I help you do every time. So any of my fit fam girls that are watching, anyone in the fit fam, hello, hey Becky, hey Jess. Oh, hello everybody, Angie. Oh, I could just be here all day saying hello. Better get to my point though. Um, this is one of the main concerns that holds a lot of people back. Um, now, if this is if what I'm about to talk about today, if it is something that does trip you up, then it is going to consistently set you back. It is going to consistently hold you up and it is going to consistently stop you from moving forward and getting long lasting results. The tips I'm about to give you today, the actionable tips, you can take them down on a piece of paper if you need to, are going to turn that around for you. They are going to help you make sure that no matter what happens, you get consistent results, which is gonna help you to get faster results. It's gonna help you get to your goals faster. And it's also going to make sure that you maintain your results forever. Bold promise, I know, but it's true. I know from experience. Um, now, the reason I thought I wanted to do this video is because of a lot of the conversations I'm having with girls at the moment is um, I'm hearing this recurring issue. Um, so I thought, let's hit the nail on the head and just address it right now, fix it for all of you. Because obviously, if a few are dealing with it, then I know a lot of you are. And I know I have, so I can speak from experience. Um, okay, so look, essentially what happens is you're cruising along. You're absolutely nailing it. Your nutrition is on point. You're exercising regularly. You're crushing it. You're seeing results. You're getting closer to your goals and then something happens. Boom. It could be anything. It could be you just your motivation just goes out of nowhere. Maybe you suffer from depression and anxiety and that kicks in. You know, that black cloud just comes back and it just hangs over your head. Maybe that kills your motivation or maybe your motivation just goes for other reasons. Girls in the fit fam, I know um, a couple of the girls have, have had this happen where the motivation's just gone for a week or so. It does happen. Happens to me all the time. Sometimes I just wake up and my brain's like, eh. So I'm about to give you some tools that are going to help you get through those moments. Um, okay, so that's one of the things that can happen. So, you know, your motivation just disappears for no reason out of nowhere. And that can be scary because if you don't know why it's gone, it's like, oh, when's it coming back? I'll help you keep it. Um, okay, maybe you get sick or maybe you get injured. Maybe family life gets hectic. Maybe something happens with the kids or your parents or your siblings, aunties, uncles, anything. Something happens family-wise that throws your routine into chaos. Maybe something else happens, work, um, anything that causes your routine to get out of alignment. These things can happen as well. Maybe um, maybe you move house and that throws you out. Maybe you had a breakup and that's just ruining your mentality at the moment. Um, COVID. COVID is messing with a lot of people's routines at the moment. Um, people are having to shift around. People are getting stuck in locations they don't live. Um, all of these sorts of things can kill your results, okay? So you could be cruising along, going quite well, getting the results. And then all of a sudden, something happens. Anything that I've just mentioned there or something else that throws your routine into chaos and just makes you go, oh, I just can't right now. I'm just going to do whatever I can. I'm just going to eat the junk food. I'm just going to not work out for a bit. I'm just going to focus on this issue. My health goes on the back burner. Um, and then you wait until things are better before you start to focus back on your routine and your health goals. 
So what happens in that time? When you stop, I'm just going to see if anyone else has joined because I've scrolled down. Hello, hello, hello. Luke, we've got Brianna, Ashley. Hello, everybody. Sarah, beautiful. Um, what happens is you've stopped focusing on your goals. So you've started eating whatever is easy, whatever's there, not the stuff that was helping you lose weight before. Hey, Hayley, how are you doing, beautiful? Hey, Crystal. You stop exercising. Exercise was getting your results before you stopped doing that. So your results stagnate and they most likely go backwards in that time. So how do you stop that from happening? And why is it important to stop that from happening? So, you know, what, what will happen in that moment? Um, if you find yourself in a situation where life gets hectic and you just want to throw your hands in the air and stop paying attention to your nutrition and stop paying attention to your exercise and just put your health on the back burner, you lose motivation, you get frustrated and you feel disappointed in yourself because you know you were going well and now you're not and you see yourself regressing. Now, there are two reasons that you will feel disappointed in yourself for this. Number one is because you will see yourself go backwards. You will see the hard work going to waste and being undone. You will be more frustrated by the situation that you're stuck in that caused you to lose your routine and to get off track. Hey, Michaela, how are you doing, beautiful? You'll be more frustrated by that situation. So you're adding to the stress of an already stressful situation by letting yourself go. But also you're losing faith in yourself. If you allow a situation like that to get you off track and put you off and, and cause you to give up on yourself, you will feel a secondary sense of disappointment in yourself, which is not good for mental health and it's not good for self-belief and self-esteem. So I want to help you with some very, very simple things to do in these stressful times so that you can stay on track, keep that pride, keep that motivation, keep moving forward so that when that stressful time is over, you haven't gone backwards and you've gained some new life skills and gotten stronger in the process so that little things like that don't knock you off anymore. Now, um, they, these things I'm about to show you, uh, about to tell you, I have actioned. They are the way that I get through any stressful situation. Um, so I know that they work. And it's how, hey, Candice, how are you doing, beautiful? It's how I'm able to make sure I keep maintaining or moving forward in stressful times. And it's what I help the Fit Fam to do as well. So I'm here to help those guys through any stressful time so that they can handle those stressful times and still get results because life is never perfect 100% of the time. We are always going to have something come up that is not ideal. We need to learn how to keep going through those times so that they don't set us back. Otherwise, we'll always be getting set back and we will never get anywhere. Hey, Madeline, how you doing, beautiful? So here are my two steps, my two things that I want you to focus on when things get tough. It doesn't matter what is happening. These two things will always be possible unless you yourself are bedridden in hospital to the point where, you know, you are being taken care of 24-7. Any situation like that is obviously off the cards for this particular conversation, but within reason, okay? Um, if you can still move around and you can still eat food on your own terms, these are your rules, Okay. You could be on the strictest plan ever. You could be on the most hectic workout plan ever. These two steps will still get you progress when you are in a stressful situation, okay? Number one, you've only got to worry about two things. Two things. One, what goes in your mouth. You are in complete control no matter what is happening in your life. All you've got to do is make sure you do not let that situation cause you to binge. You don't even have to, if you're on a meal plan or you're following a strict diet, it doesn't matter if you're not following that strict diet 100% still, just eat healthy food, any healthy food. Just as long as the only thing that goes in your mouth is healthy food, you will not go backwards. It doesn't matter, you know, don't worry, oh, but I'm not getting enough sleep, I'm not drinking enough water, I'm still stressed in other areas. It doesn't matter as long as the food you put in your mouth is healthy and you don't binge and you don't give up on eating healthy food, you will still move forward in that stressful time. And then when the stressful time is over, you get right back into what you were doing before and you haven't gone backwards. So that's number one. Number two, exercise. It is still possible. Find exercise in the incidental things. You know, take the stairs, park a bit further from the shopping mall. Um, 
find 20 minutes at home to just do a quick hit session in the spare room or the lounge room. There is always time to fit something in. Even if one day it's only a 10 or 15 minute workout, what you are also doing there is building up your mental strength and belief in yourself. If you completely give up, you are tearing down that self-belief, which is only going to have a snowball effect on your abilities to believe in yourself and continue right through to the end and keep your results forever. But if you just do these little things, like just oh, even if it's a 10-minute ab session just after you get out of bed because that's the only time you're going to have today, you will then believe in yourself and be proud of yourself for doing that. And that mentality is stronger than any amount of workouts can ever be. Um, so, you know, it doesn't have to be a killer workout. You don't have to absolutely bust your gut. Just do something, just something as often as possible through this stressful time. Just because something stressful is happening does not mean that you yourself have to completely throw your health off into onto the back burner. You will still eat food and you will still move your body while you are dealing with that stressful time. So why not make sure the food you eat is healthy and just get that tiny little bit of useful exercise in as often as possible and then you keep seeing yourself making progress. You won't go backwards. You will believe in yourself. You will strengthen your self-esteem and your mental belief in yourself. And then when that stressful time is over, you pick right back up where you left off. Now, what happens is every time you deal with a stressful situation and you employ these two simple things, you see yourself get those results. You stay stronger. You get stronger because practice makes perfect. So you actually get better at doing the healthy things in the hard times. Before you know it, a stressful situation is not even going to phase you one bit. You will stay healthy just by default. That's how you change your habits and your mentality to the point where your lifestyle is now what helps you keep your results. You're not bending over backwards to get these results anymore. They're just what you do day in, day out. And now you are maintaining your best health purely because you've practiced those healthy habits and now they are so easy for you that no situation will bring you unstuck. That is how you get results faster because you're not taking steps backwards in stressful times and that is how you keep your results forever because you've learned those healthy habits and they are now your day in, day out habits. That And that is how you keep them, you keep your results forever. So just those two simple things. Just when life gets tough, just focus on the two things you're already doing, eating and moving your body. Just keep eat. Just make sure you just eat the healthy food and just find the tiniest little bit of exercise possible in those stressful times. You will believe in yourself more. You will see more results. You won't go backwards ever. So you'll get your results faster no matter what happens. And then no matter what happens in life, you'll keep them forever. So that's just what I really wanted to outline for you guys today. Jess, absolutely love this video, Meg, and I wish I could have seen this last year. Well, babe, it doesn't matter now because you've already crushed your goals. you got abs, girl, and what have you done? You've lost another four centimeters off your waist, and that's after working with me. So that is how Jess has been able to maintain her results and keep going because she has employed these healthy habits into her lifestyle now. So the things that got her her results are keeping on getting her the results because now they're just a part of her lifestyle. So no matter what happens for Jess, she's going to keep getting results because her healthy habits keep her there. So yeah, Jess, I'm so proud of you, babe. You really are an absolute icon for just the epitome of everything that I stand for. I absolutely love it. Hey, Amber, how you doing, beautiful? Cassie, hello. All right, fam, what is the time? Let me just check my phone. 4.59. All right, I've done really well time-wise here. I've got to go because it is 5 p.m. I do have an appointment right now. So I am going to let you go. I will be posting this to YouTube um, as well because I've started a video series, educational video series about health topics. So it will be going on my YouTube. It's also going to be staying on here as a feed video so you can watch it later. Um, Becky, just keep eating, just keep moving. Yeah, babe, that's all it takes when things get tough. Just keep doing those two things and you will keep moving forward. And then once that stressful time is over, straight back on the wagon and you will crush it for life. It's that simple. All right, fam. It's been so fun talking to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment if you've got any questions and I will get to them as soon as I can tonight. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.